Hello, everyone. My name is Jingyu. Today, we are here to talk about um, the different components that used in the battery storage, lithium battery storage, and to explain to you why different manufacturers deliver different performance. So first, I want to do a quick introduction of our two batteries. 18.5 and 5.4. So 18.5 is designed to enable an easy install, very slick, sleek look with, alum with aluminum enclosure. This unit is scaled up to 220 kilowatt hour, comes with a local monitoring. It is also the biggest battery storage for residential applications available on the market. The E-Flex 5.4 is a modular design. It comes with IP65 aluminum enclosure. So it enables you to install a unit in outdoor space, such as patio. It's also scalable. The nice thing about this unit is you can really flexible install wherever, wherever you want, either on the floor, mount on the wall, or fit into a standard shelf rack, um, such as, you know, an UPS, uninterrupted power supplier. The unit is designed for renewable energy application, but also fits very well to telecom, railway, marine, and RV application. The both products has built-in smart battery management systems, enables you to do closed-loop communication with the various inverters. We're going to talk about that later. Now, because the high IP rating that we're building for this eFlex unit, so we also integrated heat sink to increase the thermal um, performance of the battery cell. In other words, it allows the heat generated from each cell to be quickly dispensed to increase the battery lifespan. Now, we design our product with a highly aesthetic aluminum enclosure. It's also sort of waterproof. The E-Flex units, like I mentioned earlier, you can install outdoor. The 18.5 and E-Flex really allows you to very easily install the systems. Uh, also, by the way, we are also um, going to offer an enclosure. Um, we, you can fit up to four E-Flex in the enclosure with a built-in bus bus. Now, uh, there's a few other companies that we, um, um, they also offer the um, lithium-ion phosphate batteries on the market. So they use this either um, plastic or iron case. Now, if you put it that close to ocean environment, of course, you're gonna have, you know, the enclosure could be corroded. It also only allows you to install indoor. And uh, all those batteries coming with a smaller capacity. What that means, you have the wire multiple together. Um, for example, you will need a five of the simplified battery to get the same amount of power of the Evo 18.5. That means you have a more cable and then you have to build a huge bus bar and that's also time consuming. Now let's unbox the battery. Look into the battery cell. There are three battery cells available on the market prismatic, parch, and cylindrical. We use prismatic cell and we only buy tier one prismatic cell. Um, our supplier, they make the battery cells for automotive company such as BMW, uh, Mercedes, and so on. Now there's a few really good, a lot of good advantages goes with the prismatic cell. It's very durable, has lower degradation, that means lasts longer, has very good power density, 
axon thermal stability, which that's very critical for the battery's lifespan. And it comes with a big capacity, which means when you line those cells together, you need in the same amount of energy using prismatic cell, you need less. That means the whole system wired together is in a much simpler way. Simplicity is better for quality management. Now, if you look into the cylindrical cells, you have to wire a lot of them together in serial and parallel. It really adds complexity. And of course, it's, you know, makes the quality management harder. The prismatic cell also allows you to fast charge and discharge the batteries. The next thing we want to look into is a battery management system. This is the brain of the battery. Now there's two um, battery management systems available on the market. A commonly used is MOSFET because they're cheap. So the manufacturer wants to save the cost, but the problem is with the mass fat is it can be easily damaged. And there's also likelihood it, the MOS fat could be hit through even the battery management system already failed, but the inverters keep charging or discharging the battery, then leads the temperature of the cell goes up without any protection and eventually gonna cause problem. So I highly do not recommend MOSFET, you know, BMS. With our digital process-based battery management systems, it comes you know, also with a solid state relay and fuse. If there's any problem from the inverter, it would fuse or solid state relay disconnect. It really protects the battery cell and also enables higher input and output power that inverter either draw or push into the battery. It can also safely respond to the inverter's erratic current. What is the erratic current? It's basically when you turn on the inverter, it generates very high uh, current. That amperage can go up to as high as 2000 amps. If you have some cheap BMS, that could lead to a huge failure. The other advantage that with a digital process-based smart battery, man battery management systems, it enables you to close loop with inverters. Also, it enables you to have the batteries put in parallel to communicate with each other. And that also leads to a more scalability. So like our e bulb you can go up to 220 kilowatt hour. Um, and again, uh, we also made the, the unit to be smart enough. So um, it's, you know, IoT ready, internet of things ready. Uh, I can envision, I envision, we envision Fortress Power is that um, in the future, your energy storage system is gonna be the center of your home automation. It's going to be able to talk to a lot of, you know, smart equipments that you have in the house already. Now, if you look into a lot of our competitors, they use the very basic MOSFET BMS. Uh, they cannot scale as much as we can. So the battery and in inverter, they don't talk to each other. So there's, they operate at an open loop communication. And of course, they're not IoT ready. They're just you know, designed to be a lead asset replacement. Now, again, our battery can also work without communication. If you do not want to have the communication, you can also just do not use the communication cable. It will work also fine. But with a closed loop, you'll be able to charge the charge battery based on the percentage, not on the voltage. And for the lithium ion phosphate chemistry, if you use the voltage to measure the percentage, there is plus minus 10% uh, differences. That's why preferable is to use the percentage to charge and discharge the battery. A quick recap of the advantage that you can get with closed loop control, once accuracy, because you know the battery management system controls the charge discharging through the state of charge. So that gives you a most accurate read and also the most accurate communication with the inverter. 
allows you to dynamically interact um, between the battery and inverter. Why is that critical? Give you an example. An open loop communication, the battery inverter, they don't talk to each other. For example, if the temperature of the battery goes very high, the inverter wouldn't know it. It would still keep sending power or discharge the battery. But if you have the closed loop, what's gonna happen is the BMS is gonna tell the inverter, hey, listen, my temperature is too high. Can you please slow down the charging discharging rate? And that's gonna save the battery lifespan. And second is um, for the users or our installer partners, when you set up a system with a closed loop control, you need less parameter setting, so it makes installation faster. And also we are um, going to launch an app allow you to monitoring the batteries and also for a field diagnosis. The third benefit is really increase our system performance. We know that the electricity from the solar is very precious and you want to utilize them as efficient as possible. So with this, you know, agri control, it will um, makes your ba battery last longer and you will get more energy output. The other thing that is when you select to work with the manufacturers, you also need to look into what kind of level of support they're gonna to provide to you. So at Fortress Power, we really take our customers very serious. So our team, sales team or our tech team, you should always get it back to the customer within 24 hours for any urgent matters. And if it's you know, uh, anything that the customer can wait, uh, we will get back to you within two days. Uh, we also, um, you can always get somebody in person, you know, on the phone, you're not talking to any answering machine. We also have a podium that embedded on our homepage. You can go in and quickly answer any question. They will always have someone there to answer the questions. And then also our tech team, they use Discord to communicate with our customers, primarily with our installer partners. And we also have a lot of other very loyal installers on the same platform. They also share their best practice with you as well. We believe that provide good content, um, good information to our customers are very, very critical. That's why we um, post a lot of blogs and share best practice projects, interesting projects. And also shoots a lot of videos, you know, explain to our customers how uh, the battery works and um, how to install them properly and what's inside of the battery look like. So highly recommend guys check out blog post and our video library uh, to get those, you know, useful information that is uh, going to make your life easier and more successful. Thank you. Uh, if you have any questions, here's our contact information. Call us, email us. We are here um, to support you.